Okay, so the next part of this tutorial we want to draw the other side of the box. So let's go over back to Photoshop and have a look. So we've got this second box here, or box two, let's call it. So, um, and we want to sort of start this box similar to how we did this box uh, from point three. So we sort of need to figure out this distance. So if we just go um, on the ruler, so caps lock, and then we can click from there down to there, and then we've got that two six, so two point six meters, um, and then we can draw another plane up here. So let's just sort of draw that out. So. We've currently got this box here set up and with the walls and the outline. So now we're going to come in and draw another box in here. So this can be box one, and this can be box two. So we can sort of understand the different parts. Let's just come back to Rhino and Grasshopper and maybe we'll just update this a little bit because we want to use some of these elements again. So let's ungroup and let, we can keep the point one and these bits out. So and let's even ungroup that. And I think we'll use most of these uh, only for this. We may need some of these other bits for other boxes, but let's delete that and even let's just tidying this up. We've got these two boxes at the moment, but we want to subtract the inside from the outside. So this, so this box, we want to then subtract this from the inside. So if we go up to intersect, and then it's got solid difference. So then we can take this one, and then take that. And at the moment, it gets a bit busy because it, we see all these other bits. So what we can do is. Right click on here and just turn the preview off and right click on here and turn the preview off. So now we've just got that box and then the two planes. Um, I'm going to leave the planes on for now. Um, so you can see the difference. See how that one is a darker grey that means we can't see it and the lighter grey we can. So let's just then do that. And group that and that can be box one. Um, now we want to start drawing box two and uh, if we go back just check that was oh, let's just turn that on um, that was where are we 2.6 meters so back in here so we let's Create point three, so we'll do another construct point. A vector there, another one of those, uh, and what's the best way of doing this? So we've created that, and that's at zero, but we need to move it along. How could we best do that? So we know, oh, we need, let's create a slider for that 2600 and then then call that, uh, what should we call that? Let's box to location just as a starter and then let's see, that's in the Y direction. So if we look on the plan top view. So that was from there up to here somewhere. So it's 
from there going up to there and then the next box fits in there so we want that so if we know we're at that point now so if we click on this or we click on there we want to move that up closer um, we need to put that in the y direction so now we can see that's moved up we need to move it over the width because if we go back to Photoshop it's this number three point that we're trying to make and that's over there so we need to move it the wall thickness so we can move that in the Y so that's moved it over to there and if we just check into here we can see we're on the same base as that bottom one so we're in the, the right starting point so we've got that so this can be point three so uh, what are we calling those point three so we've got that sorted and then we just need to do what we've done in the other ones really so we need to create uh, a plane so we can just copy the copy that down so option or well, start moving it option or alt key and that brings a whole lot of things down with us so the plane we want to bring our point three plane so we bring that in um, and we can see that it's got the box but it's going in the wrong direction so the x and the y here are working in the right way but we just need the well that the y direction is is correct let's just say that so change the color maybe so the, the y direction so here y is going in the right direction but the x uh, direction is wrong so to get that moving over we can just make that a negative number from that point so let's just uh, click on there oh. Where are we? oh that's good uh, so what we need to do is make this x number negative so if we come in here right a negative the negative we've got that so we can come from the X number bring that down to there and then put that into the X one there so now um, if we come back up to the top view we can see we've got that box in the right place there so now we need to do an inside box of that let's figure out how we do that if we go back up to here we just use all these maths results to bring that in so we probably could bring some of those results down with us so what do we need to do so to draw the second box we want to do something similar to what we did for the first box if we go back here we want to figure out where 0.4 is so let's create another one of these um, so we need to take let's draw it out so we need to take let's do blue take that distance from there to there plus if we're trying to get to that distance we need the wall thickness as well so the reason being so if we move that in that direction then it all adds up so let's go back to here and so we want to take the box location we called it plus the wall thickness so we need an addition so addition and we want the box location plus the wall thickness 
for the what direction we so we're going up in the y so that gives us this y um and then do we need an x i don't think we do do we do we need an x direction i don't think we do so we can get rid of the x because it's staying in that plane so to do that if you hold down command yeah, command and follow that through back to there. And that gets rid of that one. Uh, and then we need the, because it's the inside box, is which what we had up here. We need to, the floor thickness as well for the Z. So then that's our point zero four. So we know where we're at. Let's just make that the same. Point zero four. Okay. So now we've got the inside box started. So we can do something like we did before. We have to add all these bits and pieces up, don't we? So let's start with a plane. Where was that? Under surface, primitive, and then plane surface. So we've got that. So starting from there, and then we've got the X. So we can pull that one. Can we use the same one? But we need it in the negative, don't we? So we're up at this plane we need to use so we need a negative x there so if we do negative and then pull the result of this one back down uh, and put that let's put it way down here put that into there so because in essence it's the same box so we can just use the same same ones this is from here and then the y is the same so that should be able to just pull that into there and that's given us that same uh, shape so we've got these two so now we need to extrude them both so we can do extrude that one there so we want to do that and then if we go back up here we can see it's the same as that so let's do that so we've got that one so that's that box and then we need another extrude there and then it's this plane and we can use the same one that we used up here so can pull it from that Z unit and bring that down so we can check that in here so we can see we've got those two working well and then we can do another um, solid difference solid difference so we can take the outside one the big one and then take the small one away from that and then we can just turn these off like we did last time so that oh something's happened why is that not working let's oh i didn't enable it so we need to, i disabled it so i just need to get rid of the preview Whew, that was lucky so there we've got our two boxes now so we're getting there and it's a good idea just when you're sort of near an end of a, a key part to make sure you save everything. So well, this hasn't been saved, so let's file save document. And then um, I've got it in a folder. So um, let's just call it head box uh, there. And I already had one there, so let's just call this A2. And 
and I had the grasshopper file already saved. I mean the rhino file already saved, so I can just save that as well. Um, but the key thing we need to be aware of is is this. So we've got the two boxes. So let's just um, create a label. So shift tooled um, box two. Then we can group all this and group. Okay, hopefully we'll move on to the next parts after that. 